Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 430. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 223 to 230. Hey, in this trick here, we want to ask our Sue sales greater than Joe's sales for each day, and then count the total number of times that Sue sales exceed Joe's sales. Well, one way to do this is with an if in an extra column. Let's try that. Equals if, and we'll say the logical test are Sue sales greater than or equal to Joe's. If that's true, then what do we want? A 1. Otherwise, uh, if it's false, we'll put a 0. Close parentheses. Control Enter. I'm going to double click and send it down. Now I can come down here and add Alt equals. Wow, 9 times. So 9 times uh, Sue had sales that exceeded, were greater than or equal to a Joe's. Now here's another bizarre function from the engineering uh, group equals GE step. It does the same thing that we just did. You give it a number, here's the number, comma, and the step that they call step, that's the hurdle. That's the hurdle. So really it's just a clever way of delivering a 1 or a 0. Uh, if that relative cell reference is greater than that hurdle, it'll deliver a 1, otherwise a 0. And it's greater than or equal to. And then we double click. Uh, actually, we can't double click and send it down because we have something at the bottom. And it will replace it. So there you go. There's two bizarre ways. Now that wastes a lot of real estate. So really, uh, oh, sometimes you want to see that. In fact, the G step was invented for filtering and stuff like that. We don't really uh, need it as much anymore because we have lots of other ways to filter given a condition like that. But if you wanted just a, a cell to add it up, then we'd go like this equals some product. Now, some product will handle an array of trues and falses. Remember, we this is really an array of trues and falses. But we're, we don't want trues and falses. Some product can't add them, so we have to convert the trues to ones and the zeros to zeros. There's a couple ways to do that. I'm going to use the double negative method. You could multiply our range of trues and falses by ones or divide it by one. But I'm going to use the double negative because it's faster calculating. Open parentheses in our array will simply be our Sue sales. Control shift down arrow so we get that whole range. Are those greater than or equal to? And then I'll click here, control shift down arrow. Joe's sales. Close parentheses, close parentheses. That formula right there, boom, nine sales. <coughs> All right, uh, if G step and uh, some product, uh, we'll see you next trick.